the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, this Holy Mass is being offered for all friends, benefactors of the friars. Today we celebrate the first Friday of the month in honor of the most sacred heart of Jesus. And also the Mass that we celebrate is in honor of all the relics that are venerated in our churches. Today we wish to make reparation to the most sacred heart of Jesus for all sins, offenses, sacrileges committed against him. Let us together briefly reflect on the most sacred heart of Jesus as a fountain of love and source of mercy for us. There is a beautiful expression by one of the first church fathers, an apostolic father, uh, Saint Irenaeus, died 130, who says that we Christians are the true Israel, for we are carved out of the sacred heart of Jesus as from a, a stone, from a rock. The heart of Jesus is the rock of our faith, is the rock of our identity as Christians. With St. Paul, we remember that in Christ dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Christ is the center, the one who made everything and in view of whom everything has been made. In him, there is the fullness, the pleroma in Greek, the fullness of the all graces, all divinity, all power, a power which is not a political one. It is the power of his love who abased himself in order to save us, the power of a redeeming love by giving us his blood, to the end, by dying for us on the cross. In Christ, there is the fullness. And this fullness is uh, visible in his most sacred heart. The very center, in a sense, of this uh, fullness is the most sacred heart of Jesus that we adore because it is the center of his bodily divinity because Christ is true God and true man. He's uh, one person in two natures, human and divine. The most sacred heart is a tangible, visible expression of this mystery, this hypostatic union. What's the best way to adore the heart of Jesus? To come to Mass, of course, on this first Friday, to receive Holy Communion with these sentiments of making reparation for all the sins committed against the most sacred heart and for loving Jesus above all other things, repeating to him that we want to love him and to offer him our praise, our love, in order to, uh, to console his heart. There is also another practice which, is, which should always be cherished by Catholics, the consecration to the most sacred heart of Jesus. It was Pope Leo XIII in 9, 1900 who consecrated humankind to the most sacred heart of Jesus, responding to some requests by some saints, St. Margaret Mary Alacoc and some uh, another blessed, German blessed, uh, asking for the consecration of man kind to the sacred heart of Jesus. Is consecration necessary since we are already baptized and consecrated to God? This is an objection raised by some Catholics. Yes, it is necessary. Why? The Pope 
himself expressed, explained this, because as in Jesus, it was not sufficient to accept the Father's will, but it was necessary to put it into action by obeying the Father, by dying for God's, <clears throat> for accomplishing God's will, so it is with us. It is not enough to accept God's will by being baptized, it is important to cooperate with that baptism. Consecration is a way to manifest this willingness to cooperate with God's will in our lives. The same should be applied analogically to the consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. People still make objection why to be <clears throat> consecrated to the Immaculate Heart since we are consecrated to God. If this is true, we should exclude also the consecration to the most sacred heart of Jesus. No, we need it in order to uh, express our desire to do something for Jesus now, in this hour, in this time of our lives, not just hanging on a baptism, which is possibly only nominal. It's a name. It's something which stays there but has no effect today in my life, in my conversion, in my uh, proposal to do something for Christ. So consecration to the most sacred heart of Jesus is a beautiful practice to adore Jesus. And analogically, let's apply this doctrine also to the consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Jesus, today we offer you all our praise, our love, our reparation for all sins against your heart. Please make us worthy to adore you and to be one with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.